me. I got him. Oh, he got me. I'm getting ambushed. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? It's Mission 32 Battle Box. Self-defense box. Y'all don't go nowhere. Right, guys so like I said this is mission 32 a battle box a self-defense box I got my good friend here in Sifu and Jeet Kundo and Wing Chun Rick Montgomery <laughs> this guy right here is a really really good friend of ours and and uh, has taught me a lot I've been training with him for a little while here in Statesboro so you want to tell uh kind of tell the folks a little bit about what you do and you know real sure, quick uh, Jeet Kune Do was a martial art developed by the famous Bruce Lee um, I've had the opportunity to train under that style system, I wouldn't call it a style, a system from uh, David Gallagher in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, my Sifu had the opportunity to train with most of Bruce Lee's original students, primarily Ted Wong, uh, but also Daniel Lee, Steve Golden, Jesse Glover, and I've probably left out more yeah. than I can remember. It's quite, quite a few. Over yeah. his, uh, he's been doing martial arts for 50 years, yeah. approximately. So uh, just uh, really enjoy it. Like bringing it here to Statesboro, Georgia, yeah. teaching privately and showing you guys. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of fun because I mean, I know for myself when I first started with you and everything, you know, being Americans, we're you know it's boxing, you know, it's being styled, it's you know heavy hitting and stuff like that. Where in a self defense situation, um, a lot of it's up close, split second, and and you know Jeet Kune Do and those styles of of martial arts. Um, are designed to do very quick but effective damaging, um, you know, blows where you can get out. You know, and, exactly. and you know, you know, you're not you're not going to sit there and go toe to toe with somebody for three minutes. You know, you want to no, quickly wanna, defuse the situation. Yeah, I always tell and, people that uh, in boxing you never see a fight that somebody won one to nothing. It was never one punch. Right. <laughs> so it's 200, 240 punches landed versus yeah. 125. Yeah. So on the street, you definitely don't want to be taking punches. Right. You want to end it as soon as possible. So. And the good thing about having a little bit of background in, in a, a self-defense or a very, uh, I don't know if I should say destructive martial art. I mean, it is. It but is. A, a lot of people that are going to come up to you don't have any training, so they're going to come at you with that Americanized boxing, and you're going to have a leg up with just a little bit of training, you know, to, to defend yourself against a person like that. So, um, just a very, very cool martial art, and this is a really good friend of ours, man, and he's got a lot of experience, and he whoops my butt on a regular basis, and eh, I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> I get to, I get to learn some stuff along the way. So we're going to go through this box and uh, talk about some of the contents in it and just kind of get your expert opinion on it, how you would use it and what you think about it and, uh, and go from there, all right? So let's crack into the box. We've got our packing material here, get out of the way. So as you see here, we got our basic Vance Pro and Pro Plus, each level of subscription, and we're gonna start off with the basic box of $25 a month. So first up is ABKT, American Buffalo Knife and Tool, right? Got that right. Uh, punch Dagger. I like to call them just ABKTs. I can't always remember what they mean. But I think Long I, name. I think I did pretty good there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's crack into here and see what we got. Doesn't that look familiar? Check that out. I got one on my neck here already. So what do you think of that? Wow. <laughs> as far as using, uh, in Jeet Kune Do, we use our, our lead, lead hand as our dominant hand. So it's very uh, much like a fencer. So I feel right, right at home just putting this right into my lead hand if I yeah. wanted to use it as a punch. Just hold it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna, just okay. Are you done yet? <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't feel it. <laughs> it's like sharp, I didn't uh, feel it, man. <laughs> boy, that so yeah, that's pretty cool. Get a close up of that there. Um, really sharp on both sides there and a very sharp point. Fits really good in the fingers too. Definitely could be able to get to it pretty quick. Yeah. So I could get this out of the... It's light. I mean, I, I've been wearing neck knives since uh, we got back from um, 
a blade show in June, I got a, a neck knife I've been wearing every day. A little heavier than this, it's more like a, a regular size knife, but this, this is really light. You won't really be able to notice it on there. I like this because it sits about like a pair of dog tags. The, uh, some of the other neck knives are pretty pretty large. Mm -hmm. They make a pretty big imprint, and unless yeah. you have a big loose shirt. Yeah, so and you can choke it up if you them. need to, you know. Um, you can take a couple links out and choke it up. Yeah. Because I know that's what I had to do with my larger one, but that's, that's an excellent, excellent little tool there. Like you say, for... God, that would really suck. Yeah, I can <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> getting punched sucks to start with, but having about an inch and a quarter a worth of uh, penetration with a little punch dagger there like that, that would really suck. So, uh, very effective, uh, easily concealable, lightweight um, tool that you can have with you in a self-defense situation for sure. You like it? Oh yeah. I'll let you have that one. How about you? You can have that one. I got one right here. I've never seen a neck knife this size. This is yeah. awesome. I'll definitely <laughs> wear it. Cool. All right. Next up, I'm not, I'm not going to let you use this on me. Okay. Saber personal defense spray. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> so. We need to finish the video. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to use this on you, but uh, whew, we'll take it out of the package. Saber Red, Red Pepper Defense Spray. So, excellent product to have, especially for females that keep in their purse or keep readily available in a vehicle. If somebody comes up to their window or wants to try to carjack them or something like that, they can you know, really ruin their day by shooting this stuff in their face and eyes. Um, have you ever been pepper sprayed before? I have. <laughs> you were in the Marine Corps, right? Yeah, it, so, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's guys. It's not, yeah. not a pleasant experience. Yeah. Um, I accidentally, uh, I didn't get sprayed with it, but a buddy of mine was screwing around with some and accidentally let it out in, in, in a room. And it fills the room. Just, just a little yeah. bit of that, like, really Makes bothered me. So, wow. 35, okay, 35 bur bursts which is up to five times more than other brands. So you can get 35 shots out of that thing. Um, let's see, it's got UV dye included in it. So even if they were to get away and get, yeah. it, get it where it weren't bothering them or whatever, they, they, they got dyed or whatever, so they could be identified with that. Let's see, making grown men cry since 1975. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you're out jogging, man, and if some people's dogs, they let their dogs in the yard, they get out the dog, or out the yard, and uh, want to chase you down. Yeah. Yeah. Dogs don't like that either. Dogs do probably don't like it either. <laughs> they... It's got a clip on there. Very cool. So you could put that, you know, in your vehicle and clip it to your visor or somewhere, or keep it on your person when you're out jogging or something like that, or if you're in areas, you know, where there's potential of being uh, bothered by somebody, right? Yeah. If Made you've in the USA. To, tried to run with a knife in your pocket, it yeah. doesn't work out to uh, rub your off. Yeah, pepper spray really <laughs> sucked, dude. God, holy <laughs> mighty. So next up is also from Saber Personal. It's a key, a key ring alarm, so a keychain with an alarm on it. So it says here, uh, 120 decibel audible alarm up to 600 feet away. So, let's see if I can get into it, man. Without. Uh, Give this to my 25 year old daughter. Yeah. So, here we have a keychain. So, you hook your keys to it or whatever. Um, so, I mean, it's really going to get a lot of people's attention, right? It's really going to. You want to scare whoever's messing with you. Um, I mean, there's tons. I mean, I've had situations where my wife had somebody following her around, you know, Walmart parking lot one day oh, yeah. or whatever, you know. So you can set this thing off on quick. your own. But also, if you get in a, a tussle with somebody, like you try to take my keys or whatever, and uh, I'll smash that. <laughs> Bad, ain't it? <laughs> All right, give me that back. <laughs> um, woo! That makes your eardrums touch. Yeah, I that, think that mine touch a couple sound. times. So not, not a pleasant sound at all. So 120 decibel. It's got two, um, two different alarms on there that are pulsating at different frequencies. So um, it's, it's not pleasant at all. So it's going to get somebody's attention if you're in an area. Um, if, uh, you know, 
carjacking, somebody taking your, your keys or trying to get your wallet or whatever, a way you can... Oh, Jesus. You can draw some attention, right? Yeah, definitely <laughs> so, will wake somebody up. <laughs> uh, so there you go. That's, that's a pretty cool device right there. It makes, makes a lot of noise and... Um, golly. I, I, I got bad, I got bad hearing damage anyway, man. So like my ears are really <laughs> sensitive, <laughs> really sensitive to certain frequencies and that really bothers me a lot. So that's your uh, third item in the basic box. So first item was this punch dagger, um, deck knife, the spray, pepper spray, and now this key ring alarm. So also something you're not gonna be able to use on me coming up next. Gonna pull it. No. It's pretty good spray. <laughs> gonna, you're gonna you're gonna mess my ears up and then mess my eyes up, right? So next up is the Viper Tech VTS 989 stun gun. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a stun oh. gun right here. I mean, in the basic box, twenty five dollar a month subscription level and you got yourself a stun gun so just the sound of these things bother me yeah that uh daniel's had one obviously you know for a while testing and doing different things and trying to you know see how they fit in the box and all this stuff and he'd be in his office and he'd hit that thing and i'd be like man that, that oh yeah I, I don't want to be nowhere around it <laughs> <laughs> i just don't man just the sound of it freaks me out. I don't think you have to get anybody with it. Just them hearing it would, should make them want to go the other way. My so you got a little holster there for it. My wife's family is all law enforcement, and uh, they always talk about the testing process where they have to uh, link arms. I have three guys link <laughs> arms, and the guy in the middle gets it. Gets it, yeah. <laughs> the next day, it's like your biceps and your legs are so sore from everything clenching yeah. up so tight. I got hit by one accidentally one time. Or they said it was accident. My buddies were playing with one, and uh, and it sucked, man. <laughs> and I barely got it, you know. <laughs> so um, you got yourself a charging cable here, so it is rechargeable, and um, it's got a flashlight as well. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I don't like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Good grief. Yeah, there's your flashlight mode. And you so you can blind them in the face and hit them. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, look at that, man. Do you have those old uh, bugs outside your house? That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> so we're way bigger. Yeah, that thing. That really sucked. Grief. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> Oh, I had to switch from. He Bob didn't like can that. Take it. Bob can take it. I don't want. So, very cool. God almighty. See, I've me being a chiller mechanic, I've I've been shocked by you know AC current before. I mean, I, I mean that sucks. This ain't no different, man. It sucks too. <laughs> you got a metal desk too, don't you? I do. <laughs> Daniel You're probably on that Daniel probably rigged this up to a switch or something. Yes. I sit down and it get me. Oh man! So very cool item right here. Um, obviously, in some states, you know, you can't have these. Right there. Unfortunately, so there is an alternative. So if if in your state and in your area these are not okay um, due to local laws, we've got two products in here to make up for not getting this. So. Some of you got this, which is awesome, and some of you are gonna get two more things, which is awesome, in replacement. So, if you didn't get the Viper, I haven't picked it up yet. I haven't picked it up. Okay, okay. The two items that you get in replacement of that, the first item is this U.S. Marine Close Combat Fighting Handbook. You're familiar with this, and I am you? very familiar with that. <laughs> so, uh, he was in the Marine Corps, and um, and and I guess. This was probably your start in any close quarters combat because you weren't doing it. Was. I was. Right. Uh, I started off learning martial arts through this program right here back right. in the, uh, wow, well, to date myself, in uh, 1990. <laughs> <laughs> so. so, yeah. Um, 
So uh, very, very good information in this book, and, it, and it's a lot of stuff that looks very similar to the things that you, you've shown yeah. me when we've been training or whatever. So um, this goes to show that uh, close quarters combat is um, very effective, and it, there's some really cool ways you can, even somebody who's three times your size, if you get got the proper training, you can, you, can, you, can, you can really ruin their day. It's good. <laughs> so, it, 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 it covers uh, armed and unarmed combat, so right. it goes from you know, carrying a, a fairly large size weapon to being unarmed and dealing with somebody with an armed weapon. Right. So, I guess, if you want, maybe just demonstrate a couple, I guess, of the basic techniques of if you, I guess, if, if I had... If I had a, a knife, we'll pretend I got a knife. Here's our knife. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, what is, I mean, obviously if somebody's got experience knife fighting, they're gonna do something different. But a, a typical attacker is gonna come at you, gonna threaten you with a knife. Okay, so, Yeah. okay, well, let's take this. First of all, if I'm coming up to you and you have a knife, I'm not gonna continue walking towards right. you. Okay, so if I see the knife exposed, Okay, I'm going to either turn and walk the other way or do something else. If I'm right. already seeing the knife, I'm not going to come up right. here to investigate. Okay. okay. So, so I don't have a knife. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if I say, oh, you know, best, the, yeah, I always tell people, if, it, if you've got a blade, right. the best defense is to run. Right. Okay, because the, the idea that you're going to get into a knife fight and not get cut is not realistic. Right. Okay? You're going to get cut. It's just a matter of how bad and are you going to survive. Right. So if we approach it like that, it's a, a little bit easier. Okay. All right. So now I, I'm here and I didn't know the knife was coming. Now, right. now I see so you I, reaching for your pocket. I've got to start start to react. Right. right. Okay. So I want to make sure that I address the knife, but I also want to make sure that I don't forget that you have other weapons. Okay. So if, if I've got tunnel vision on your arm here right. and I, I'm coming to grab you here, you know, you may hold on to that, but I still got to right. worry about you got pounding me else. in the head. Right. Okay. So if I see you starting to grab something, I'm going to be coming in right. and, and hitting you, and now making you think here mm -hmm. before I, I come here. Okay. So if it comes, if I get it down there, it's a lot more survivability right. from here. Okay. Now I can start to work <laughs> breaking this out. Oh. Okay. 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 All so, right. Yeah. So. So if, if he's got the knife down here, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be coming this way. It's an okay. off, offensive defense. Yes. I mean, you know. Right, because it, I don't want to sit here and, and you come at me and you start to stab and right. do this. But if you're good, let me let me hold this for a bit. I mean, if I know what I'm doing, I'll come in and you're going to try to grab my arm and I'm going right. to. Right. Hey, so I just come in and as soon as you go for it, I'll just, we call it a single indirect attack. In other right. words, I'm not going to follow this line here. I'm going to make it difficulty. I know you right. see me coming, so I can just change this line. I'm, right. It's almost like a feint in basketball. Uh, uh, I'm going to get you up in the air. Right. Coming in, bringing it right around. Okay. okay. So if, if I'm doing it, I'm concentrating on, on that knife, you'll just right. bring it up and around. Okay. So I'm coming in. Boom. Yeah. All right. Okay. So <laughs> Daniel's wanting me to use a knife here. Okay. Yeah. So it's not real. <laughs> when, when this thing is coming in here, I have to stop this, right. okay? Whether it's here, if I can be offensive, I will. I'm going to be offensive. I mean, I'm going to cuss him out. I mean, i got to hit him. <laughs> okay. You can cuss me out yeah, afterwards, right? I cuss right? you out afterwards. Okay? <laughs> so he comes in, and I'm coming. I want to hit him. Bam, right, right. here. Now I can start to start working with this to start you know, <laughs> trying to take his balance, okay? All right. He's strong. <laughs> All right. So All right. I, when he, yeah, when he comes, you know, I, I'm going to give him something. I'm going to try to jab. I'm being nice. I'm slapping him in the face. It looks like I'm, you know, giving him a love tap. <laughs> I'm actually driving my fingers into his eyes. Okay, yeah. right, right up here. Okay. So once we're worried about that, there's, you know, I can start to <laughs> worry about other things to do with the knife. Okay. Yeah. But I got to get his mind away yeah. from here. Okay. So if he comes higher, I'll try to get get the knife up in here. So Brandon's a big guy. He's full. Try to get the knife out. Try, come on. Okay, so, bam, I'm just gonna sit here. And now I can start to work here. Okay? Right? Okay. So he's not gonna get this knife. Yeah, he's kinda got okay. my arm pretty good. I've got it cupped in here. So, it, the main thing is, is that the idea is that if he gets to stab once, that's all he gets. Yeah. Okay? What I don't want him to do is come in doing this. Right. Okay? <laughs> This is very hard to defend against, right? But if I'm coming up and I, yeah. Okay, right. so he comes in, I go, bam! <laughs> okay. 
So I have to be, be very careful about, you know, if I come in, you want to be able to dress it, but you want to also address right. it here too. And, so, yeah. All right. Bring it, we'll get, yeah, there you go. This is really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> okay. So in, in Jeet Kune Do, I don't think as the knife is, ha is being my only weapon. Okay. So from a knife fighting perspective, if I come in like this and I faint and he looks at it, I'm going to go bam and just hit him and then I'm going to start stabbing him and work. Okay. So usually somebody who's focused on the knife, he only thinks he has one weapon. Right. So he's going to sit here and try to jig you. Okay? Yeah. But I'm not. I just know I'm a multifaceted fighter. So I come in and I, yeah, hit him. Now, trap him in. <laughs> Coming in. <Yeah>. Oh, wait. <laughs> Get my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whew. All right, so you can learn that stuff in this book. <laughs> <laughs> and beat up on your friends and learn how to do it, right? Yeah. But do it with a fake knife, not a real knife. <laughs> not a, yeah, don't beat up your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so very cool information in here um, that the Marine Corps uses to, t to teach their recruits while they're building Marines. So very cool information right there. So that's one of the items if you did not get the Viper Tech. The second item is this tactical uh, notebook. Um, very nice notebook. It's got, uh, got a pouch there on the front. But this will accept the uh, right in the rain um, inserts. So you can put the right in the rain um, notebook in there. You've got lots of areas for pens and knives and cards and information and stuff like that. You can use this as a range book if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, perfect size for a range book. Um, all kind of, we're out of breath. <laughs> all, kind, all kinds of really cool uh, things that you can do with this. So that is the second item along with the book if you did not get the Viper Tech. So $25 subscription level and a lot of really cool stuff in there. We're fixing to move on to the advanced level. This is where it gets interesting. First up on the advanced level, the $50 cost is a Readyman Wraith fixed blade belt knife. I know you're going to like this, Rick. So it's a fixed blade belt knife that you can carry, scout carry on the back here, or you can remove the belt loops to carry it a traditional way. There she is. Isn't that cool? That's sexy. So it's a Tonto style with a slight serration at the back. Very cool. Check that out. What do you think of that? Oh, that's perfect. I love that uh, top serration a, there because uh, I, I use a fence, more of a fencing grip. Instead of wrapping my thumb, mm -hmm. I uh, run my thumb along the back of the blade. It makes it a little bit easier to control and right. to do stuff with. So, man, that's got a beautiful weight to it and the, the tackiness. Yeah. So as a... EDC knife, you know, for, for a self-defense situation. I mean, obviously you can use it for other things, but, but you know, this being self-defense oriented, how, how do you rate the size of that and, and, and it, all for this that? This is really a perfect size because it, it's, it's easy enough to wear uh, on, your, on your belt. And I like to wear it horizontally also. I can't stand to put it uh, vertically. Right. Uh, as you get older, you get love handles. <laughs> it's in the way. Uh, so yeah, uh, mounting it horizontally and, and being able to whip it straight out is, is right. really nice. But uh, man, I really just love the tackiness of this because uh, a lot of polished handles mm -hmm. are slick. Okay, and this one is actually, it feels like even if, with a little bit of oil on my hands, yeah. it's still really, really st sticky. It's almost like a surgeon's knife. It's <laughs> yeah. dexterous. And, and, we'll, and, and to it being like that, you know, because in, in a high stress situation, you, you need that extra grip and, and different things. You Absolutely. Know? I mean, um, especially if you, in a position where somebody's trying to take it from you as well. So what I like about it is it's, it's fairly small in, in the sense of being able to conceal it. Um, you can choke up on it a little bit and conceal it. Yeah. Um, so very cool little knife there. Also, you can use this as a neck knife. There's two holes here at the top. So you could, you could oh. take these off and use it as a neck knife if you wanted to. Only when I have my sweater on. Yeah, <laughs> your Christmas sweater. My Christmas sweater. <laughs> right, so that is the, uh, the Ready Man Wraith fixed blade belt knife. That's super sexy. That's cool, I dig it. I get to take that one home, right? Sure. So that's 
uh, the first item in advance. Now, I know you're going to like this next item because you, you've talked about this in our training. Uh, this is a product from BattleTac. It's the Kubaton. BattleTac Kubaton. It's got a removable clip, so if, you know if you didn't want that on there, you can take that off. But uh, how you how you like that? Smoke. <laughs> that is life. Wow. So what Brandon is talking about is I usually a lot of times carrying a knife makes you you know if you get searched or anything like that. If you're out in bars, you don't want to have a knife in on you. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> something like this. Uh, it really you know. Kind of looks like a pen almost <laughs> sitting in your pocket. If I had yeah. it in, in my back pocket, uh, I love carrying watch screwdrivers. Okay, they're, they're really small. They fit right up here if you have a, a pocket, and they're mm -hmm. very inconspicuous. Okay, but you can do a lot of damage with them. And I'm right. seeing this because <clears throat> if if I'm in a position where I'm having to play defense and I don't want to really hurt the guy if you're drunk i'm not i don't want to you swing at me and i kill you kind of thing right but if you come in and you you try to punch at me bam i may just stick this right in your bicep okay it's really really that suck. really suck okay <laughs> uh, if, if you throw a more straight punch i'm coming in i will send this right one of three ways right into this bicep now i don't damage his eyes i don't hit him in the throat okay i'm just sitting here He's not going to use that bicep for the rest of the evening. <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this thing is, is, man, this thing is really nice. It's got yeah. a nice light feel, and I can put my hand all the way, almost to where you can't see it. Mm -hmm. And so if I had it sitting in my pocket, pulling it out and just coming right in. Yeah. <clears throat> it is. <laughs> I can tell you're excited about it. <laughs> <Yeah, that. laughs> that's really really sweet because yeah, i know in, in our trainings you have the small sticks yes and you you choke up <laughs> on it like that and go for the bicep and and you know yeah if it's a self-defense if it's self-defense though and you're punching at me now i come in right. yeah, i'm gonna come in and it's it's going straight in yeah okay i might like, instant trach come in here yeah yeah hit me here your femoral artery yeah that'd really said, suck yeah this is really nice i like that it's not a sharp point right because i'm going to carry this in my pocket Right. Okay. So if I have it in my back pocket, I don't have to end up you know, getting the enema from this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ben, that would suck too. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> you, you don't want it to suck for you. Yeah. I don't want to, <laughs> and the clip will help it from going down too far in the pocket. It'll right. be able to sit there and you'll have that little yeah. loop sitting to where And the, the design of the <clears throat> finger hole is, is pretty good too. It's not completely round because all of us have different size hands. And uh, I got fairly decent sized fingers. Um, and they, they fit through there just fine. But. Uh, but it, it chokes it nice into the palm. Right, it as sits a, right there a, on the palm. Yeah, bed. as a as a, a stop. Um, so when you uh, when you thrust with it, it doesn't it doesn't give. So very interesting, very cool product from BattleTac. I also noticed it's got the grooves in it. So if it does go into yeah. the cavity of the body, you can get it back out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you didn't know, would I stick this in? <laughs> if there's a vacuum created in the body, if it doesn't have them grooves, odds are it won't come back out. I'll go. Right. <laughs> nothing left but my hand. Yeah. Cool. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. That is sweet. So that is, where my card go, that is the two items in the advanced box. Your uh, Wraith fixed blade and the BattleTac Kubaton. Okay, hold that for a second. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up is the Pro Box. Oh, the Pro Box has two items in it this month. And it also has a knife in it. So, so far, we're three for three for knives. That's pretty cool. So, first up is the Mantis BK2A bottleneck knife. This thing is pretty, pretty wild looking at it. The bottleneck. So, is, it, is this a, that's a bottle opener too? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> So it's kind of like a butterfly knife yeah, design, how it opens butterfly and knife. locks butterfly and knife. locks back there. So. Wow, that's light. That is nice. God, it's got a cool design to it, huh? Yeah, that is. How it has it? I don't know what you would call that. Uh, 
call that other than a bottleneck. <laughs> it kind of looks like a bottleneck, right? Yeah, it does. But um, that's a very interesting uh, blade there. So again, another small, good striking blade. I mean, obviously to deploy it will take yeah. a little bit of time, right? But um, a good, quick, uh, quick, and inconspicuous way to have a blade on you. Yeah, because I wouldn't so, even I wouldn't have even thought it was a, a knife originally. But I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> just looking at it, it just looks like a really cool bottle opener. Yeah, because I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking, oh, do you pull it out and? Yeah, so you, you squeeze it there, flip the lock, and you lock it back. You got to squeeze it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, I would use this every day because it's a utility <laughs> knife to yeah. keep in my, it's, it's a perfect size. And you can crack a cold beer with it. <laughs> I mean, anything you can add a bottle over to in my book's like cool. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> the shape of that blade is, is different. I've never seen anything like mm -hmm. that because that, if you stuck somebody with that, I mean, it's going to leave a hole. Yeah, that's, that gonna... yeah, because it's. It doesn't have a point per se. I mean, it does. It's got two of them though. But I mean, it, you got a, a very wide entry. Yeah. Just um, cut the gash. <laughs> yeah, that'll crazy. really open somebody up right there. So, very interesting knife. So, that's three knives through three levels of subscription. So, next up in the pro is from Bastion Gear. It's a self-defense belt tool. And this is really cool. Um, little tool here. Very well built. It's uh, it's actually not one piece. This this is uh, some kind of new way of welding that they do. So this this piece here, the center piece is welded to these two side pieces. So you've got that opening there so you can easily put this over a belt and you've got a quick self-defense tool god that's gonna crack somebody's skull <laughs> it also has a glass break <laughs> and a bottle opener <laughs> so you could hold it like this and crack the bottles open so um what do you think of that and it's got some good weight to it it's good grief <clears throat> yeah, if you hit somebody with that, you're, you're gonna shatter their skull. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what I what I like about it is, is it supports that, that exactly. Idea. That that lays in the palm perfectly, so that you don't you're you're not gonna break your finger um, or hurt yourself with that because and and it's stout enough where this isn't going. You know, you, you can't pinch yourself with that. Yeah, I can argue, right? If somebody asked me what it was, I was like, it's my cigar cutter, but I lost the, I lost the top part. I, I don't know where it went. The blade, the <laughs> yeah. blade fell out. Or, or either, yeah, this is my the money clip. Light, yeah, the money yeah. clip fell. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. What you hit him with? My money clip. <laughs> my paperweight. Yeah, my paperweight. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, just... There's uh, some mass in that. There's some mass in it, and it's, it's it, comfortable, and it... The lines are clean. That is very nice. Yeah, I mean, just just doing a little, just a little pressure hurts, man. Like, so um, that is the second item from Bastion Gear, the self-defense belt tool. How you like that? That's like very that. cool. That's very cool. So, and be great for bartenders. You can go through them bottles really quick with that, you know. Keep you from going through wedding wings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that completes. The basic, advanced, and pro. Um, so we're going to the pro plus. This is everybody's favorite right here. Okay. The pro plus, the knife of the month club is what a lot of us call it. Um, and this month, we have another item from BattleTac, and you're really gonna like this for you know, self-defense knives or whatever, is this BattleTac, they're calling it the double lock karambit. Right there. Karambit if you're in the south. Or, yeah, karambit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they got a really nice packaging here showing the, so it's a folder karambit. Wow. 
you know, typically karambits are, are a fixed blade. Yeah. Right? So in this design, it's a folder and it has a double lock in it so that it, like a double safety so it's not going to close on you while you're using it. That is slick. So you can click that up and so you got your your lock here and then your double lock. It's got there. a double lock and back to them just in case. Yep. So wow. self defense and uh um so the the Filipinos are the I guess the I don't know if that's technically the originators, but they're really heavy, heavy knife. Yes, they're knife, they're knife culture. Fighting, uh, Malaysia, yeah. in, uh, Indonesia, right. Philippines. They're a very, very uh, bladed culture, and mm -hmm. it's still in some areas very tribal. So they right. still use blades all the time. And uh, man, this <laughs> this looks a lot like the traditional stuff. I mean, beside the fact that it folds, but this looks very much like if you've ever seen a a regular crumbit. Right. This this is. Uh, exactly what it looks like, but you've got it so it folds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great for capturing limbs. Mm -hmm. so, uh, not tree limbs. Not tree limbs, <laughs> but, but arms. Arms and, yeah. and stuff like that. And so this allow, uh, and if, if you want to gut somebody, the, the curved blade on this will. <laughs> uh, so we got they, one they, here they, that's a little duller. I don't want to be gutted or anything like that. It's still, it's not extremely sharp so if you want to do a little some of a demonstration of what you mean by trapping um with, with a karambit uh with without sending me to the hospital yeah so okay. all right so we'll, we'll just uh I'm scared of stitches yeah <laughs> then, yeah i don't i don't want to accelerate this. so if brandon was punching at me and i i was going to divert this or something i would use a knife to capture this arm here so if he tried to resist against it, he would literally slice into his own arm. Right. Okay. So after I've captured it, I may find another way to go. Okay. But it's just to help control this arm. Okay. I've got it. I can cut into it. If he wants to push against it, that's fine. Right. I may come in if and start I doing something like else. This, yeah. I'd cut myself. So, yeah. This, this blade, uh, the, the way it's used is really to, to help isolate stuff. Right. Okay. So. Just a really, really, really nasty cut here. Uh, that that curved blade is just going to yeah. shred that. Uh, but it also, it, you know, coming in and yeah. Right. So he, if he was punching, I had I'd come in and just, and his intestines would go. <laughs> so it is very, very nasty, nasty blade. Yeah. Um, Wow, that just looks gruesome. Like yeah, it looks uh, cool. Yeah, it looks like you know, and it, it's part of the you know <laughs> the BattleTac brand has you know is going for this very um, uh, very well thought out designs, but it, it's got that tactical look to it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it like, does. It's got a really it's got this really like nice um, finger hole back here. The way the, the it goes down into the sides from the liner and everything. I mean, it just. I mean, even in the pivot, you know, it's got got some design elements in it, so well, it makes it really nice. I could appreciate the double lock on that because I would not want that opening in my pocket. Right. <laughs> and 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 you don't want it closing while you're Pants. you're using it, yeah. right? Um, so, yeah, you know, and I think that's partially why you know the karambit traditionally has always been a fixed blade. Right. Um, but with this design, the way that lock works, it's just as just as safe and just as uh, um, solid as a fixed blade um, by having that extra security with that double lock there. So the weight on that is really, the really weight's nice. Good. That's the sharp one. So <laughs> I, put, I put the dull one down. <laughs> you wouldn't shave you know, the first couple layers of skin off my arm. But yeah, that, that just has some, some substantial heft to it. I really like how mm -hmm. that feels. And then my finger goes, fits, fits it perfect in the, uh, yeah. the hole there. <laughs> yeah, you just you just want to do it, man. You just want to do it. Mess Bob up. Over yeah, here. go mess up Bob <laughs> over here. Spill Bob's <laughs> guts. <laughs> so very cool, man. So four knives in this month's subscription. So basic got got a knife, advanced, pro, pro plus, all the way up. So there's four blades, and in, uh, in this month's box, which is you know really cool and um, 
I, I think a lot of people are going to dig it, and I'm I'm glad I'm glad you like it because I, I know you're you know, you understand um, useful things and non-useful things and, and using martial arts and, and self-defense and close quarters types of uh, combat and stuff like that. So um, all these items, I think, fit the bill for sure. You should get like a pig and hang it up and, and <laughs> see what this will do. Don't get me to think. <laughs> all right, folks, so that's Mission 32 of Battle Box, a self-defense box. I think this was a great box, a great way to... Um, Get some tools and some knowledge and some useful things for self-defense. Absolutely. Do you agree? So, yes, I would. Um, I, I really don't know what to pick to be my favorite thing. I mean, it scares me to death, but I really like that there's, <laughs> there's that stun gun in this. But, um, but uh, a lot of really cool knives, four blades, one in each level. So um, as you went up in level, you got multiple blades. Um, if you didn't get the stun gun, you got a really cool book and... Um, and uh, uh, right in the rain uh, notebook there, or you can use it as a, a log book at the range and stuff like that. So some really cool items in here this month. I think it's a, uh, a great box, and I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with us, man. Thanks and, for having uh, me. And kind of throwing Anytime. me around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, it, Self-defense is, is one of those things that um, you really need to train for, you really need to think about, because when it happens, it's split second and uh it's got to be instinctual got to be instinctual like yeah. like you say so so um if you aren't already i really uh would um suggest that you look in your area and see if there's you know any self-defense courses or martial arts courses that you can take you don't have to go in there and wanting to be you know the, the next you know mma fight or anything like that but knowing basic skills to diffuse a situation and give you some confidence is really huge and I know that it's kind of made me feel better knowing you know that I I may be able to take care of business if I have to you know I yeah. mean it's kind of a good feeling and uh, it's a lot of fun too so um, if you want to find out more about BattleBox be sure to check out BattleBox at BattleBox.com B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com be sure to uh, watch the videos of all the past uh, missions so you can kind of get an understanding and see if there's a subscription level that fits your budget and I urge you to give it a try. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to this Battle Box channel, and I'll see you next month with Mission 33. It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> try, come on. Okay, so. Damn, I'm gonna sit here. And now I can start to work. Here. Okay, I can start to work. Breaking this out. Oh. Okay. Okay. All okay, 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 okay.